Well, we got the first fish of the day. Just doing some anchor fishing with my buddy Ryan. Hello. <laughs> Just gonna swim it right towards me, huh? <laughs> Make life a little bit easier. Yeah. I got two rods with small bait, two rods with big bait, and one rod with a live bluegill on it. Let's see what we catch here in the backwaters. Is he not wanting to come up? Nope. <laughs> There he is. What do we got here? Oh, a little blue, I think. Yep. yep. Let me get the. I'll grip him in. Oh, okay. Hey, little guy. <laughs> oh, he's got mud on him. This guy's been laying in the mud. Not bad. You know, that's the most important fish of the day right there. Yep. Get some pliers. Got him. Gotcha. <laughs> reset this one. My plan today is to let Ryan catch all the fish. Hey, I don't mind that plan. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, just drop it. Don't drop the whole rod and reel in the water. Just drop it in the water. We'll fix it. I'll let you hold this guy and let him go. Sweet. Show the camera your big fish. All right, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I'll wrap it around your arm, too. Oh, gotcha. So I made that mistake of almost losing mine to a big 30-pounder. Gotcha. There he goes. Someday that guy will be a 60 pounder. <laughs> hopefully. Cool. All right. Yeah. Reset that. Yep, we're going to reuse the bait too. Stayed on there. Not bad at all. It's not my traditional channel cat setup, but it works. Yeah, we had it out here, I think. Straight out the side there. Get her out of these fishing poles here. Perfect. We're using pieces of skipjack. I may have already said that, but it's okay. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get a couple of more fish. It's a nice day today. Yes, it is. Even though it's a little bit chilly. Yeah, all right, Ryan's got another fish. It looks like the little bait is uh, winning, getting the fish. Might be a little bigger than the first one. That's good. I'm getting a bite here too. I can't tell. We've actually moved to a, a new spot. There's a hole between a choke point right here on the backwater area. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Bigger fish. I don't think so. <clears throat> that I mean, that doesn't feel like a monster by any means, but this is bigger. Some action. Hmm. He's fighting pretty good. Yeah. I'll take it. Well, don't you 
go under the boat. <laughs> Just bring them, I'll get them with the grips. Just bring them up. Oh, sweet. Right. Yeah, I got the grips. I got used to do this on my own. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, another blue, a little bit bigger. He's muddy. Man, look at all that mud. <laughs> These guys have been laying on the bottom. Oh no, this is a channel cat. Yep. I misidentified him. Got the curve on the anal fin. So this is a big channel. Nice. Nice fish, excellent. Two different catfish on the boat today. That's good. Still has some spots, even though this is an older one. There you go. Nice. Hold it up for the camera. All right. <laughs> so that species number two, big old All channel right. cat. Don't forget to wrap around your wrist. Yes, thank you. I've kind of gotten in the habit of just thumbing them when they're this size. Yeah. Nice channel cat. And there he goes. Cool. Well, if there's a difference in the way they fight, I could tell. Yeah, so channel cats fight harder. He felt, he felt different than that blue. For sure. Yep. They fight hard. Pound for pound, they may be the hardest fighting catfish. <laughs> Just to give you guys an update, the bluegill on my whisker seeker rod, something grabbed it and... When we reeled it in, there was nothing on the hook. So I'm, I've got a big piece of skipjack on it. And, as, and all these have big pieces of skipjack. And Ryan's two rods have small pieces of skipjack. Is that the rod you caught the one earlier on? Yep. <laughs> That's the lucky rod today. And it's still the same piece of skipjack. So we've caught two catfish on one piece of skipjack. Oh, we got one here. Excellent. I guess I'll reel this guy in. Go for it, man. I'm gonna check my phone real quick. I was gonna let Ryan catch all the cats today, but I'll get this guy. That would beg for you. <laughs> it's an old Akuma Avenger. This is a, what, steelhead rod? Yep. Yeah, I bought it for King, uh, King Salmon, actually. Ah. Little baby blue. Can we grab him? <laughs> Boat flip him. There we go. He's talking to us. Grab the pliers. Or the fish grips. Fish grips. Fish grips. Fish grips. Gotcha. Even if he's still small, it's still easier to deal with them if you get fish grips on. Ow. Comes out pretty easy. Awesome. Alright. You can see this is a blue because it's in a line, the anal fin. Straight line. Man. Yeah. Three for the day, I'll take it. Yep. He uh doesn't have any mud on him, so this guy's been moving a little sore on him. Cool. This guy's
I need to grow up and become a hundred pounder. That was two in a row. Awesome. Now let's see if we can upgrade the size. So while I've been here sitting on my phone, Ryan is casting and catching white bass. <laughs> Wait, is that a yellow? Oh, that's a yellow bass. So he's got that yellow tint to him. That's third species on the boat today. I'm sitting around being lazy because I've been musky fishing the past three days and I'm tired. My arm feels like it's going to fall off. But <laughs> nice one. <laughs> He's just casting out two grubs and reeling them in. Just simple stuff. I had a hit. Must have been a really small one. It didn't stick. These are circle hooks, right? I think these are the hooks I gave you. Yes, I believe so. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, must be a little one. Yeah, he's still on here. <laughs> oh, nope, he got off. Yeah, it must have been really, really small. He really wanted that bait. Let's see if I can hook this better. Got a little baby cats in the area. Yeah, that rod there has a special place in my heart. I <laughs> wanted to try when it broke. We're pretty much anchored on a point. So if we cast in any direction, it's deeper water. And the big rods, they've been silent this entire time. Where are the big fish? All right, we're reeling up for the day. Ryan has to head home and feed his family. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. We did get a few fish on the boat, that's good. It's hoping for some bigger fish, but maybe next time. Ryan is having some issues with his outboard, so we weren't able to go out and go to a couple of spots I wanted to try, but maybe next time. So thanks for watching and please give me a like and subscribe.